Hi everyone, today let's talk through the reasons and thought process behind turning this stacked bar chart into this area chart. Let's dive straight in. As you look at the original, I wonder what your thoughts are. Perhaps your initial feeling is there are just too many stacks and colours for your liking. You might be looking at the dates thinking there's got to be a forecasted element within this information. The first thing I'm going to do here is make a couple of changes to help with these points. For the time being, I'm going to remove all the different colours and to help differentiate the plan view, employ a patterned format of the bars from 2024 onwards. Even after making these amendments, I'm not sure what message I'm supposed to take from this data. For the sake of clarity, let me explain the context. This graph attempts to show the budgets for a number of different types of projects. In the case of the first stack, these are the major projects. We then have existing projects, which will be finished in 2026. There is a small amount there in the final year. And the budgets for new projects, which understandably increases over time. Now, the next two stacks are interesting. The existing allowance stack shows the extra budget or the buffer that's been allocated. And we can see from 2023 to 2026, there is a small element of buffer available within these projects. And the final series proposed allowance is the projected amount of budget that's going to be required for all of these projects. As it turns out, this graph is a call to action, a request to increase the existing allowance to better match the proposed allowance. You would never know that in the original. The biggest challenge I have with this stack bar chart is the sense that our increasing gap between our existing allowance and our proposed allowance and our main call to action just isn't really visible. To better demonstrate this, let's unstack those bars for a second. You'll see each of the three types of projects represented by an individual grey bar with the comparison now between the existing, the light blue and the proposed allowance, dark blue bars, far easier to see. As we progress into the planned area, the proposed allowance is larger than what's currently being allocated, and that gap is growing. To focus on that more, we might turn to a simple line chart. This works well to see the trend, but we are also interested here in the gap between the lines, the area. We can focus on that by filling that area with colour. This now provides an immediate sense of this widening gap between the existing allowance and what's been proposed. We can further aid this understanding with some simple formatting and considerate labelling. We also have the opportunity to add in the wider project level detail here too, and this is where my thoughts turn to a stacked area chart. Now these do have limitations, they take up a lot of ink, and so therefore additional annotations and context might be difficult to include. There can also be confusion about whether the stacks are truly stacked or whether they are just merely overlapping each other. But as we've already seen, they can be useful if we want to emphasize that difference, that gap that we have between those two lines. And additionally, they can allow us to provide the detail of the part to whole relationship that included those original projects from earlier. So let's add that detail back in now, looking back to our stack bars and those three original project levels. In this final view, I'm applying focus to the gap by using sparing color and linking that same color to our recommendation, which we've incorporated within the title. Additionally, I can now assess the trend of the different types of projects so that detail from the original view is preserved, but kept from being distracting by graphing it all in the same relatively muted color. While they have limitations and can be challenging to read, it was important to show the relationships between your data and how they are changing, or maybe the detail of a part to whole relationship, then stacked area charts can be a viable option. And as we can see in this scenario, allows us to explain our core message in a clear and compelling way. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, have a great day.